rolling. Malham Cove is Britain's preeminent limestone cliff. That's what it says here anyway. And in May of 2007, Steve put up Overshadow, the long-standing and uncompleted extension to overnight sensation. Steve gave the route 9A+, Britain's joint hardest sport route to date. Just to the right is Steve's 2003 test piece, Rain Shadow. The route tackles the largest section of Malham's huge roof. Now we've seen a few of Steve's routes, we've got to ask him, come on Steve, which one's the best? Probably Rain Shadow. I think that's probably the best route. It's got such good rope, really varied, it takes an amazing line, and it might be the best route I've ever done. That would be a big thing to say, wouldn't it? Rain Dogs is like an amazing 8 -8. It's such a good 8 -8. and everybody knows that as soon as they try it. And the extension above it, it just gets better. Steve's obviously in pretty good shape, but in climbing terms, he's by no means the strongest. I think Steve's biggest asset on the rock is not his biceps, but his brains. You can climb in two different ways. You can be super powerful and build your way up it, or you can be super technical and find the perfect body position to make every move as easy as possible. That's the way I try and climb. I haven't got the build all the time to get super strong. So I'll, I'll try and use my head if possible. I think one of Steve's main strengths is that he's, it's his mental sort of attitude. He's incredibly tenacious and obviously he's strong and fit and all those things. Yeah, he isn't the strongest person out there, possibly not the fittest person. He's got this like grim determination and he will not let go of a hold and he will sort of carry on until there is no possibility, you know, he can carry on anymore. And I think that's what you need to be right up there. Unjustified, he did unjustified, which is like an early 8C, and then he went and did uh, Austrian up, but it's like an 8, 8B. Well, he unsighted that. Then you come off and then finish by on site and it's other 8 -8. So it's like an 8C, blasted it, on site's an 8B and then on site's an 8A. That's some people's life's dream to do all those routes. Well, he's an engineer, isn't he? So he's got that sort of engineer mind way of looking at things and breaking it down and thinking a bit laterally and stuff. I think it's better than Overshadow, to be honest. Trying this now, compared to doing that route, two months ago, I can just tell this is miles easier. And he's just got the motivation to keep doing it, and that's what's absolutely outstanding about him. Because there's, you know, in the back, you think back in the 90, early 80s to like till the early 90s, you had like some Moffat and Moon, and there was Dawn and all that lot. They were all pushing each other to try and get the next level. But Steve's had nobody. He's had absolutely nobody at that level. He's just done it all out there on his own. He's just he's definitely the technical in the country as far as roots are concerned.